My Alaskan Race by Husky Dog Written by Richard V. Linville Yippee! I'm going to be in a race with a team of 15 dogs and my musher, who is the driver of the 400-pound dog sled. The race is called the Iditarod. You might wonder what needs to be carried by the musher and on the sled. The musher must carry a vet book and keep notes on each dog to show the dog vet at the checkpoints. My sled carries cooking supplies plus food for the dogs and musher. Extra items that will be needed are packed in drop bags and sent ahead to the checkpoints where I stop from time to time. One or two extra sleds may also be sent ahead to the checkpoints in case the one being used is broken. An axe comes in handy for chopping wood for a fire or cutting away at ice. Snowshoes help the musher walk on deep snow. Spare parts are for the sled like rails and harness that might break. We are going to start and end in the state of Alaska. AK is the abbreviation for Alaska. Can you find Alaska on the world map? It's March when the race begins. There are two routes. The northern route is run on even numbered years. The southern route is run on odd numbered years. Finishing line, Nome, Alaska, Northern Route. Southern Route, Starting Line, Willow, Alaska. We are having an Adida Rod race ceremony through Anchorage, Alaska. It's on the first Saturday of March every year. Onlookers line the 11 mile or 18 kilometer route throughout the city. We wear white boots to protect our feet. That's me in the front. I'm the lead dog. The next day at Willow, I line up with my team at the starting line. Over 1,000 dogs will race. In my excitement, my tongue hangs out. Then my musher yells, mush, hike, let's go. Finally, we're off and running. I help pull the sled up a steep hill. I enjoy toiling in the traces, working in the dog leashes. For 10 hours, we pull the sled up and down hills and across snow-covered meadows. My musher yells, gee, and we turn to the right. She hollers, ha and we turn to the left. We cross a snow and ice covered river. My boots protect my paws and my fur protects my body from the cold around me. After my team and I run about 100 miles for five hours, we stop to rest and eat at a checkpoint. There is a pet vet to check me out. If something is wrong with me, then I will be taken out of the race. I'm in good health. We race between spruce trees that are close together. It is 50 degrees below zero. My spit crackles as it leaves my mouth and turns to ice before hitting the ground. We run through mountains and over the vast, flat, treeless tundra with soil that is permanently frozen. I can't see my own nose in the blinding snowstorms called whiteouts. The icy winds sting my face. After 12 days of racing, I finally cross the finish line with my team. We're in seventh place. At least we completed the treacherous thousand mile journey. Maybe next year we'll win. I howl with excitement for a race well done 
and for a challenge well met by my team. My musher kisses me and I lick her face again and again. Even though we didn't come in first, my team received the Gold Coast Award for being the first to reach the Gold Coast community of Analoclete.